What is value? It is actually a perception of a product or service's worth. So what is worth? It is perceived benefits minus perceived costs. You see, if we just increase the benefits and reduce the costs, the value would be easily justified. That is exactly what people are doing in, in consumer product world. When you go to the supermarket, you're always trying to find out the cheapest price with the highest quality. But how does that work for an intangible product such as a service or a digital product? The reason why it is so difficult to sell these conceptual products is because customers find it hard to justify the money spent on products with no physical forms. However, truth to be told, this is actually the biggest advantage for these products. Remember in the definition the word perceived. This is how we're going to make a difference. The spin selling model provides a framework for sales conversation. But to get practical, you need to read a lot of other books, put muscles on the skeleton. One very important area we need to explore is how we can influence the customer's perception. I went through a lot of books about human psychology. There are many solutions, but all ends with the same principle. That's what we call the golden key simulation. So what exactly is simulation? It is a skill to set a scene and invite the customer to walk into it and experience it. You as the salesperson is the tour guide leading the customer through various experiences. This is the golden key in creating the benefits and eventually creating the value for the customer. I want to give you three ways to run a simulation so you can apply them in your real life. The first one is telling stories. There is nothing better than telling a story. It can be about you or about others. The key is you need to embed a language to invite your customer to participate in your journey. Ask questions like, imagine if that's you, how would that make you feel? These questions about feeling will carry the customers away from their objection-driven thinking and fall into your way of thinking. This is so powerful that nobody can resist. The second one is we call it a perfect world. This can be a $10 million lotto scenario. So ask your customer, if the money is not an issue, what do they want their world to be, or the services to be, or the product to be? Then you shut up and wait for them to talk. The more, the better. Force them to be bold and think harder. The last is the customer's world. This is the most effective and targeted way for the customers to spell their benefits for you. Once you went through the spin selling framework and got the point you need to present your service, instead of going through boring presentation slides, you ask your customer. Now you told me you have this and that kind of issues, and we found out that if these issues can't be resolved, they will soon turn into a bigger problem. So just imagine, if we got these problems removed today, what needs to be done? And how would that help you in managing team, the efficiency, or whatever you mentioned previously? When you start to use these three golden keys, you realize that your customers will find you are so different to other sales representatives. It is really because you are getting into a deeper level of the customer's mind, where emotions can be easily triggered. That, my friend, is exactly what you want to have every conversation. I want to give you three other tips in creating the perceived value for customers. Tip one, benefits are personal. Doesn't matter if it is a corporate purchase or a group deal, it is always personal to the decision maker. Find out how important it is for them to make a right choice will definitely help you create a personalized simulation. Tip two, perceived cost can be reframed. Remember in the supermarket, it is always $9.99. In your head, you always remember it as $9 or something. Tip three, position, position, position. These three positions are actually in three distinctive areas how to position yourself, how to position your product, and how to position your cost. Make sure you follow the right order. Never position cost before you position yourself or your product. I hope this video covered enough great ideas.